Paha Mung, RPA, Faj Haj Mug PA with circumflex Hawaman, Paha, PA with circumflex Hawaman, known also as Ndav Paha, Ndav Kib, Ndav Kop Fab, Ndav Sabel WJ, is an indigenous semi syllabic script, invented in 1959 by Xiong Lu Yang, to write two Hmong languages, Hmong Dog, Mug Dog White Meow, and Hmong Jua aka Munglang, Mug Li Green Meow. Paha is written from left to right. Each syllable is written with two letters, an onset, la, an initial consonant or consonant cluster, and a rhyme, u, a vowel, diphthong, or vowel plus final consonant. However, the order of these elements is rhyme initial, the opposite of their spoken order. That is, each syllable would seem to be written right to left, if it were transcribed literally into the Roman alphabet. This is an indication that Schoen conceived of the rhymes as primary, Pahongwang might therefore be thought of as a vowel centered abujana. Tones in many onsets are distinguished by diacritics. The onset K is not written, so that a rhyme letter, V, written by itself is read as KV. Nor is the rhyme mode, on mid tone, written, so that an onset letter, C, written by itself is read cock, except following a bare rhyme, as otherwise these could be read as a single syllable. The absence of an onset, however, is indicated with a null onset letter. Again, this is similar to an abujada, but with the roles of consonant and vowel reversed. For an example of the positional variation, consider the phrase in RPA orthography, kuvrat chase round coach na jai serve you breakfast. Since the first word, kuv, starts with a k, it is written as the bare rhyme uv in paha. The word route, with med tono as the rhyme, is normally written as a bare onset r, and indeed this is the case for the second instance in this sentence. However, since the first round follows a bare rhyme, it cannot be written as a bare onset R, or the combination might be read as rough rather than kuv route. Therefore, the combination kuv route is written uv route rather than uvr, with the rhyme made explicit, smali etal 1990 58. Pahong has 20 onset letters to transcribe 60 phonemic onsets. This is accomplished with two diacritics, a dot, and a tack, written above the onset. However, Although there is some scattered similarity between the sounds of the resulting forms, there is no overall pattern to the system. For example, the letter for H with a dot is pronounced TH, and with a tack is pronounced PL. The null consonant does not take diacritics in Hmong Dog, but does in Hmong Joa, for two onsets, NDL and NDLH, which only occur in Hmong Joa. Similarly, dot E and DH, which do not occur in Joa, are used for Njoa DL and DLH, which do not occur in Da. The rhymes, in contrast, are overspecified. There are 13 rhyme sounds, but 26 letters to represent them. One of each pair takes four of the eight tones, while the other takes the other four tones. Diacritics, nun, dot, macron, and trima, distinguish the tones that each rhyme letter may carry. One of the tones, written D in RPA, is not phonemic but is a prosodic unit final allophone of the creek key register M. It may be written in Paha by changing the dot diacritic to a short stroke, but it is not used by many people. Shong used the rhymes with the values Kyab and Kab and Mung Da for Kab and Kab, slash Kang slash, in Mung Joa. However, Kuman retains the Da values for Njua and adds a pipe, to the left of Kab etc. to right Kab etc. In addition to phonetic elements, Paha Mung has a minor logographic component, with characters for the numerals 0 to 10, times 102, Hundreds, times 104, myriads, times 106, millions, times 108, times 1010, and times 1012, billions, though the higher numerals have been dropped, leaving a positional decimal system. Arithmetical signs Periods of time, year, season, month, day, date. The most common grammatical classifier, lube, which when written out phonetically consists of two very similar letters, and 18 clan signs. These were never disseminated, but were intended to clarify personal relationships in Hmong refugee camps, where people regularly met strangers of unknown clan. Strict taboos govern the behavior of Hmong men and women from the same clan. Punctuation is derived from the Roman alphabet, presumably through French or Lao, except for a sign introduced by one of Shong's disciples that replaced Shong's, but also includes a native sign for reduplication and a native cantillation mark. There are two orthographic systems in use for Pahomung, the second reduced stage from 1965 and the third reduced stage from 1970, see history, below. Some Hmong communities consider second stage to be more authentic, 
while others prefer third stage as more regular. It would appear that stage 2 is more widespread. The differences are primarily in tone assignment. Bare rhymes, that is, rhyme letters without a tone diacritic, have various values in stage 2, but are regularly high tone, B, or rising tone, V, in stage 3. Likewise, although the pedagogic charts are organized so that each column corresponds to a single tone, the tonic diacritics are scattered about the columns in stage 2, but correspond to them in stage 3. Stage 4, which today is only used for shorthand, dispenses with the V rhyme letters, replacing them with additional diacritics on the B rhyme letters, so that each rhyme and tone has a single dedicated glyph. Tone transcription is that of the Romanized popular alphabet. Pohomon was the product of a native messianic movement, based on the idea that, throughout history, God had given the Hmong power through the gift of writing, and revoked it as divine retribution. In 1959, Shong Lu Yang, RPA, Sobel W. J. Yaj, Pohomon, the Hmong spiritual leader from Laos, created Poha. Yang was not previously literate in any language. An illiterate peasant, Shong claimed to be the son of God, Messiah of the Hmong and Khmer people, and that God had revealed Poha to him in 1959, in northern Vietnam near the border with Laos, to restore writing to the Hmong and Khmer people. Over the next 12 years he and his disciples taught it as part of a Hmong cultural revival movement, mostly in Laos after Shong had fled communist Vietnam. The Khmeric version of the script never caught on, and has disappeared. Shong continually modified the Hmong script, producing four increasingly sophisticated versions, until he was assassinated by Laotian soldiers in 1971 to stop his growing influence as part of the opposition resistance. Knowledge of the later stages of Paha come to us through his disciple Chia Kuavang who corresponded with Shong in prison. The first stage of Pahak, Pahakbak, Pajajpai, common called the source version, had distinct glyphs for all 60 onsets and 91 rhymes of both Hmong Da and Hmong Joa. Although there were diacritics, there was no relationship between them and the sound values of the letters, and many of the diacritics are unique to a single letter. Among the rhymes, there was a strong tendency for letters which differed only in diacritic to share the same vowel and differ in tone. However, this was not absolute. For example, a letter shape like U stood for the rhyme I-H, while U, differing only in its diacritic, stood for the rhyme us. Plain U without a diacritic did not occur. Similarly, the letter that, without a diacritic, represents the rhyme A-G, when combined with a diacritic dot represents the onset R-H. Thus it can be seen that at this stage the diacritics were integral parts of their letters with only the beginnings of an independent existence. Stage 1 was abandoned after Shong revealed the second stage, with only the occasional glyph showing up when people who know it write using other versions. However, it is not considered obsolete, as people remember Shong's instructions to use this source of all later Paha as a sacred script. The second stage, Pahongji Duo, Pajajmsai Abduazobi, second stage reduced version, was the first practical Hmong script. It was taught by Shong in 1965 and is supported today by the Australian Language Institute in Kumen, Everson 1999. The consonants are graphically regular, in that each column in the pedagogic charts contains the same diacritic, but are phonetically irregular, in that the diacritics have no consistent meaning. This situation remained in all later stages. Tone assignment is irregular, in that the diacritics do not represent specific tones with the rhymes any more than they represent specific features with the consonants. For example, the trima sometimes represents the B tone, sometimes J, V, or G, depending on which rhyme it is added to. The one exception is the D tone, which is actually a prosodic inflection of the N tone. Shong added a specific diacritic for this when Chia, who was familiar with RPA, asked him how RPA D should be written, but it was treated as extraneous to the tone system was not included in the rhyme charts, and was not always taught to show his disciples. The third stage, Pahonji Adua P.E., Pajaj inside Abdua's P.E.B., third stage reduced version, introduced in 1970, regularized tone assignment, which was irregular in the second stage. It restores the null onset, which with the addition of diacritics covers Mungjua consonants not found in Mungdog, that had been found in stage one, but does not otherwise change the onsets. Chia believes the lack of this series in stage 2 was merely an oversight on his part in his prison correspondence with Shong, Smali ETAL 1990 70. It was not distributed as widely in Laos as the second stage, due to fear of admitting knowledge of the script after the communist takeover. Both second and third stage are currently in use in different Mon communities, 
however, because the third stage did not appear widely until after Schoen's death, there is a suspicion in many communities that it and the fourth stage were invented by Schoen's disciples, and therefore are not authentic Paha. In the third stage, there is also presence of different signs for month, tens, and zero. The final version, Paha TSA, Pajaj Sok, core version, published in 1971 just a month before Schoen's death, was a radical simplification with one letter per rhyme and one diacritic per tone. The onsets were not changed. The only graphic addition was that of three new tone marks, for seven total, but half of the rhymes were eliminated. The B, M, D, J tones are written as in stage 3, the V, dash, S, G tones now use the same rhyme letters as the other tones but with different diacritics, circumflex, underlined dot, underlined stroke, and diuresis. The diuresis is retained from stage 3, so only the rhyme letter changes for this tone. Stage 4 is not widely known, but is used as a kind of shorthand by some who do know it. Indeed, it may be called Hmong shorthand in English. Paha is not as widespread as RPA romanization for writing Hmong, partially because of the difficulties in typesetting it, but it is a source of great pride for many Hmong who do not use it, as in Southeast Asia every respectable language has a script of its own, which RPA does not provide. However, for some educated Hmong, Paha is considered an embarrassing remnant of a superstitious past, Smali ETAL 1990-165. Chow FA means Lord of the Sky in Lao, Mung, Kopthab, which literally translates to the Heavenly Lord, an anti late ocean government Mung group, uses this writing system. Since 1975 until today, the Mung Chow FA, isolated from the rest of the world, has been heavily persecuted by the Lao People's Democratic Republic, non stop and non resolve. The vowel systems of Mun Da and Mung Tuan are as shown in the following charts. Phonemes particular to each dialect are color coded respectively. Mung makes a number of phonemic contrasts unfamiliar to English speakers. All non glottal stops and affricates distinguish aspirated and unaspirated forms, most also pre nasalization independently of this. The consonant inventory of Mung is shown in the chart below. Consonants particular to Mung Don and Mung Chuan are color coded respectively. The Paha Mung diacritics were devised by Xiong Lu Yang in isolation and have no genetic relation to similar looking punctuation in the European tradition. DOT above, diuresis, macron. Since it can also typically take shapes that are different from the typical shapes that European punctuation has, it would be inappropriate to attempt to unify Paha Mung diacritics with characters in the general punctuation mark. Combining diacritics are found at 16b30, 16b36 and function in the usual way. Note that 16b34 and 16b35 could be composed, 16b32 plus 16b30 and 16b32 plus 16b31 respectively. Such an encoding is not recommended, because decomposition would break the 1 to 4 character convention for representing Hmong syllables, and no canonical decomposition is given in the character properties. The Mun pronominal system distinguishes between three grammatical persons and three numbers, singular, dual, and plural. They are not marked for case, that is, the same word is used to translate both I and me, she and her, and so forth. These are the personal pronouns of Mung Da and Mung Jun, in Pahamung and Mung RPA. The numerals of the Pahamung alphabet is different and dissimilar to those of other civilizations in East and Southeast Asia. Western style Arabic numerals are also used, but only to those who use the Hmong RPA. Hmong numerals, White Hmong, Zogmog, are based on the ancient Hmong slash Mia numeral system, which were used during the pre ancient Hmong civilization times. The number 1975 would be written as. Punctuations in Paha Hmong use non alphabetic characters, which can be found at ASCII 16b37, 16b3f. While for other punctuations, they're similar in function to ordinary generic punctuations such as. With that said, Paha question mark, to the arithmetic operators, have either been devised or invented by Pai Kobhaj Pai Daha, in 1985. All of the Paha punctuations along with the generic punctuations are still used within those Ma communities, mostly in the United States, Alaska, and Australia, that prefer the use of Paha Hmong for preservation of Hmong culture, heritage, identity, language, development, and history. Because Shon was illiterate, it is sometimes assumed that he invented Pahua ex nihilo. 
However, Shoeing was acutely aware of writing and of the advantages that it provided, indeed, that was the basis of his messianic movement. It would appear that existing scripts provided his inspiration, even if he did not fully understand them, much as the Roman alphabet inspired the illiterate Sequoia when he invented the Cherokee script, in a process called transcultural diffusion. Not only do the forms of the majority of the letters in the oldest stage of Paha closely resemble the letters of the local Lao alphabet in missionary scripts such as Pollard and Fraser, though they are independent in sound value, much like the relationship between Roman and Cherokee, but the appearance of vowel and tone diacritics in those scripts, which would appear nearly random to the illiterate, may explain the idiosyncratic use of diacritics in early Paha. Nevertheless, even if the graphic forms of Paha letters derive from other scripts, much of the typology of the script, with its primary rhymes and secondary onsets, would appear to be Shun's invention. The later stages of Paha became typologically more like Lao in the Roman alphabet, suggesting that perhaps they influenced its evolution. However, even from the start, Paha is fascinatingly similar and fascinatingly different from the Lao alphabet, Smali ETAL 1990 90. For example, it resembles an abugidus such as Lao where the order of writing does not reflect the order of speech, but with the roles of consonant and vowel reversed. There is an inherent vowel, as in Lao, though only on one tone, but also an inherent consonant. In Lao, tone depends on the consonant, it is modified with diacritics, but the patterns of modification are complex. In early Paha, tone depends on the rhyme and is modified with irregular diacritics. Starting with stage 2, there are two tone classes of rhyme, just as in Lao there are two tone classes of consonant. Nearly all other scripts invented by illiterates are syllabaries like Cherokee. However, to represent Hmong as a syllabary, Pahong would have needed 60 times 91 is equal to 5,460 letters. By breaking each syllable in two in the fashion of Chinese phonetics, Shong was able to write Hmong, in his original version, with a mere 60 plus 91 is equal to 151 letters. The Pahongwang alphabet was added to the Unicode standard in June 2014 with the release of version 7.0. The Unicode block for Pahamong is U plus 16B00U plus 16B8F.